Hi, I'm Mary Poplin with Imagineer Systems, and today we're going to show you how to get started in Mocha VR. Mocha VR is the newest version of Mocha, the Academy Award winning software from Boris FX and Imagineer Systems. Mocha VR brings high end VFX workflow tools to filmmakers working in 360 degree and virtual reality video. Mocha VR features a native 360 degree optimized workflow for motion tracking, masking, object removal, and stabilization. Mocha VR runs as a plugin inside supported hosts like Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro, Avid Media Composer, Nuke, and other OFX hosts. Mocha VR is also available as a standalone application on Mac, Windows, and Linux. So how do you start a project? Let's get started. The first thing you do is apply the Mocha VR plugin to your clip. Mocha VR was designed to work on stitched equirectangular footage, sometimes called lat long, and it is not intended to be a stitching tool. As with anything reading VR footage, the better your stitch, the better your results are going to be. Once you've applied your clip to the timeline, simply launch the interface from the plugin. When you start a Mocha VR project, it should default to this equirectangular setting. Visible in the Lens tab, this setting tells Mocha that the footage is 360 degree video and enables the new 360 degree view. You can now pan around in a rectilinear 360 degree workspace and quickly toggle between these saved views. Switching between views is achieved with a 360 button and you can roto or track in either view for your convenience. This is much easier for an artist to understand, as distorted equirectangular images are hard to visually decipher. Anyone who's had to hand rotoscope in a lat long view knows exactly what I'm talking about. Note that all of Mocha's tools, like the surface tool, work in either view for flexibility. That means whether you're using an insert, remove, or horizon stabilize, you can switch between views. So what if you're not using After Effects? How do you apply the Mocha plugin? Well, since this works in all Adobe software the same way, you can simply drag and drop the effect right on your timeline in Premiere and launch from the interface in the Effects panel. In Nuke, you can tab to the Mocha VR node, or you can use the side panel. Once you click on the node, you can launch from the effect interface. Avid users should create a custom project type with a 2 to 1 ratio to support your format and then apply Mocha VR from the effects palette. Simply click on the effects panel and launch Mocha. Mocha VR is actually the very first 360 degree enabled tool for Avid Media Composer and can be used to reorient your footage and render back to the Avid timeline. So let's show you a basic planar track using the Mocha VR tools. It's easiest to view your 360 footage and track in the rectilinear view. Remember, we simply click the 360 button to switch between views. Once in my rectilinear view, I can set the surface tool and see my tracking placement. I can even insert a graphic in the insert tab and use a layer from my comp. I can set which layer from my comp is the insert or I can insert from the file browser. Once my track is complete and I like my positioning, I can simply render the insert in my plugin back to my host's timeline. Or like standalone Mocha, I can export the rendered file. Roto masking in 360 can be difficult because many host tools are not optimized for the 360 degree workflow. I can roto in either the rectilinear view or the equirectangular view. Rotoscoping in 360 degrees is no different than rotoscoping in normal Mocha. You can still use paper doll style to break your roto shapes up. But the difference is, is this roto now warps with the lens. Your shapes also continue across the seams in 360 degree views. Once your roto is completed, you can render it back to the timeline in whatever your host application is. In Avid, if you're working in Media Composer, you can render your masked layer back to the timeline for color correction or effect isolation. This makes Mocha an invaluable tool for Avid users. Adobe and Nuke users have the added benefit of converting mask data to native splines. 
This means I can export AE masks and copy and paste shapes for Nuke, Premiere, After Effects, etc. A very useful tool set inside of Mocha VR is the Lens Distort and Undistort tools. Mocha VR gives you a simplified workflow for adding 2D graphics, patches, and fixes to the 360 degree workspace. For instance, I can place a logo on the nadir of my 360 degree footage, and I can toggle back and forth between echo rectangular views and 360 degree views. You can render the lens as a distort or undistort in the plugin interface. This allows you to toggle between views without even having to open the plugin and no need to go into the Mocha interface. So let's see what that Nadira patch would look like in a headset or 360 degree pano video. It's essentially a Boris FX skateboard. You can use Lens Distort and Undistort for previewing what the headset would see and more importantly, adding graphics and patching or my favorite, painting. The Mocha VR plugin offers a wide range of module outputs including horizon stabilization, remove, insert, rotoscoping, and lens distortion. Mocha VR also includes Mocha Pro's powerful object removal tool that enables an advanced workflow to remove camera rigs, a common task in 360 degree post-production. Watch more tutorials to learn about 360 degree masking, object removal, horizon stabilization, and more. Mocha VR supports Adobe, Avid, Nuke, and other OFX hosts. Mocha VR will complement all sorts of 360 degree projects, including documentation and journalism, branded content, immersive and narrative filmmaking, visual effects, online content, and more. For more information, visit www.borisfx.com.